Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 24H2 yet again. And uh, we're going to talk about something that is known for quite a few builds right now. It was first discovered by Phantom Machine 3 on Twitter. And basically, Microsoft will enable BitLocker device encryption by default for devices and for computers that are using Windows 11 24H2. This is not necessarily a bad thing because device encryption is always good. We can be more protected and our files should be safer with this device encryption or BitLocker enabled. But from what I've seen so far, and from what I've tested, this is a bit intrusive and I'm going to give you an example. I'm using all the Windows 11 Insider preview builds installed on the same computer and on the dev channel and on the beta channel, sometimes BitLocker will automatically enable itself and I won't be able to enter into the operating system. I'll have to go into my Microsoft account settings and get that key to unlock my computer. So if in Windows 11 24H2, we're going to have to do that after every update or after every major installation, that could be a problem because it can take up much time to figure out where the key is, how to add it, because you cannot just copy and paste it and so on. But in this video, I'm going to show you a few different methods in which you can bypass or disable BitLocker encryption, because for me at least, Windows Defender is more than enough. I don't need more encryption or more security inside the operating system. Of course, if you're happy with the BitLocker encryption, you can leave it enabled, but this video is for those of you who don't want it inside your operating system. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, we're going to begin with those who already have, let's say, Windows 11 24H2 installed or other versions, but they have BitLocker enabled. To disable BitLocker on your computer, you can use two different methods. Methods. First of all, you can type in the search box BitLocker and then click on Manage BitLocker and then you're going to have here the button Turn Off BitLocker. In my case, it is turned off, so I have the option to turn it on. But for example, on this e-partition, as you can see, I have the partition locked with BitLocker. I can just click on Unlock Drive and I'm going to have to go into my Microsoft account settings and get the key. Now, to get this key, you're going to have to go into the official Microsoft website. So that'll be account.microsoft.com slash devices slash recovery key and then log in into your Microsoft account. As you can see in this page, after you log in, you're going to have all the key IDs and all the recovery keys. Now we're going to go again here and click on unlock device. And you have to look for this key ID. In my case, it is 14A4. So let's just look for it. And it is this one. As you can see, I'm just going to copy the key. You're not going to see it for security reasons. I'm going to copy it. Then click on unlock drive, paste the key here, and then click on unlock. And as you can see, right now I unlocked that partition, but BitLocker is still on. I'm just going to click yet again on turn off BitLocker, turn off BitLocker. And as you can see, decryption of E by BitLocker Drive has started. It's going to take some time, maybe a few minutes, depending on how big in size your partition is. But basically, this is how you turn off BitLocker on a certain partition. And also, again, you need to go into the settings app, tap in here device encryption and click on device encryption settings. And you should have here the option to turn this off. But in this case, as you can see, your encryption settings are managed by BitLocker. So in this case, we don't have to do anything. But if you have the option, you need to turn off also device encryption from the settings app. Now, another method to disable BitLocker. Let's say you want to create a bootable USB drive with a Windows 11 ISO to install Windows 11 24H2 on your computer. A tool that I recommend is called Rufus. You're going to have Rufus in the article below so you can get it from there really easily. But from here, we will be able to disable automatically from the ISO the BitLocker encryption. So I'm just going to select my USB drive, select my ISO from the location where I have it. Of course, we can leave it as standard Windows installation, GPT stop, nothing to worry about there. We can change the label, for example, Windows 11 for H2 without BitLocker and from here we can click on the start button and a new window will appear Windows user experience that will allow you to bypass certain Windows 11 requirements but the last one is disable BitLocker automatic device encryption you can select this click on OK and start the bootable USB drive process you can then install your Windows 11 24H2 system without this BitLocker encryption now the last method would be to disable BitLocker from the Windows 11 installation maybe we have an ISO or something and we didn't disable BitLocker so far, we can disable it directly from the installation and we can disable it whenever we're getting to the OB section of Windows. Basically, whenever the installer restarts for the first time, I'm not going to show you the full installation process. I'm just going to go through it really fast. And then whenever we're getting to the OB section, I'm going to show you the steps to follow in order to disable the BitLocker encryption. If you're not familiar with the new Windows 11 24H2 installation process, you can just go and search on my YouTube channel because I've made a video in which I 
show you how to use the new Windows 11 24 H2 installation process, but it's pretty much the same, only a few things are changed. And now we're at the last step, we're installing Windows, and after the computer will restart, we're gonna get to the OB section or the out of the box experience section where we can disable BitLocker using the registry editor. Now after the restart, we can see the OB section in the country or region section, press shift plus F10 on your keyboard at the same time, type in here reject it and then press enter and the registry editor will open up, then navigate to H key local machine, system, expand every folder, then current control set, then control. And here below that you should see BitLocker, you can click on BitLocker and in an empty space, right click, new, DWIRD 32-bit value, name this value prevent device encryption, then press enter. Of course, make sure you type it as I typed it here. You're also going to have all the info you need in the article below, so you can check that out if you want to. And then double click on this DWIRD 32-bit value, change the value data to 1, and click on OK, and you should be good to go. You can continue with the installation of Windows 11 24H2. So this is how you can disable BitLocker in Windows 11 24H2 in a few different ways. I'm hoping that this video is useful. If it was, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.